shade gardens add a pastoral charm and understated beauty to any garden design, making it seem like something out of a fairy tale. A budding forest gardener's worst nightmare is to laboriously plant flowers, shrubs, and grasses, only to discover that their selections need more sunlight. Fortunately, nature provides a plenty of plant life that thrives in shady areas. Under your trees, you can plant a variety of flowers, from the cheery wintergreen to the vivacious English bluebells, to make a beautiful sylvan paradise. Let's delve a little deeper so you can learn about 10 kinds of plants and fronds that will flourish in your tree shelter. Number one, Baltic parsley. Baltic parsley may look delicate and frail, but it is actually rather tough and produces a lot of flowering umbrella-shaped domes in ivory. Cute and compact, these umbrels thrive in partial shade and continue flowering far into autumn. Baltic parsley is prized not just for its aesthetic value, but also for the ease with which it self-seeds and the resilience it displays in the face of direct sunlight, poor soil, and even drought. Additionally, while in bloom, it serves as a great feast for the local pollinators, drawing in swarms of butterflies. Plant them between zone six and nine. Number two, barren wort. If you're looking for a low maintenance blooming ground cover, consider barren wort. It forms a low maintenance yet luxuriant carpet of long, glossy leaves that are initially flushed in rose hues before developing to a stately pure green. In the latter half of spring, sprays of buttery yellow florets emerge, which form dense clusters atop graceful arches above the foliage. Barrenwort thrives in climate zones five through nine. Number three, Alpine Current. Alpine Current embodies the spirit of the season with its bright scarlet berries and intricately intertwined trilobed leaves. Because it grows well in almost any environment, Wives Alpinum is a great choice for use in borders and hedges especially in yards with a dense canopy of shade trees overhead. In the summer, its leaves are a vibrant, glossy green, and in the fall, they turn a warm golden color, making this evergreen a sight to behold. They're hardy from U.S. day zones two to seven. Number four, bird's nest fern. The evergreen beauty of the bird's nest fern was recognized by the Royal Horticultural Society with an award of garden merit because of its usefulness to gardeners in providing a rich variety of textural foliage. The scalloped, glossy leaves have a midriff that is a twilight color, which stands out beautifully against the abundance of chartreuse leaves. It's resistant to rabbits, but susceptible to deer, snails, and leaf nematodes. The bird's nest fern can survive in USDA plant hardiness zones 11 and 12. Number five, blue cohosh. The frog-like appearance of blue cohosh's sage-colored leaflets adds to the plant's endearing qualities. It's the star attraction in gardens situated in wooded areas since it does well in soils that have been fertilized by fallen leaves. Midway through spring is when its refined beauty is at its height, when its star-shaped, tawny blooms bloom, each one adorned with a fat, central stamen speckled with nectar glands frequented by bees. Blue cohosh thrives in climates of zone three to eight. Number six, Brazilian plume. The Brazilian plume is a compact evergreen shrub native to the tropics that stands tall and proud thanks to its covering of pine-colored leaves and fireworks display of clustered, tubular blooms in warm, joyful colors. These bright blooms, reminiscent of a carnival, stay vibrant well into the fall. Although it does best in shade and moist soil, Justicia carnea is surprisingly oblivious to other environmental factors. They can survive in zones 
8 through 11. Number 7. Carpet Bugle Carpet Bugle is a prolific spreader that thrives in areas where other grasses struggle to establish a foothold, serving as a role model for adaptability and proliferative success in the face of adversity. It thrives in climates from USDA Zone 3 to Zone 10. Carpet Bugle, a plant blooming in late spring and early summer, is loved by butterflies and hummingbirds for its brightly colorful flowers. The pollinators love it, but the deer and bunnies aren't so fond of it. Number 8. Christmas Rose The extraordinary winter blossoming of the legendary Christmas Rose has made it a staple perennial in folklore. The creamy ivory flowers will self-sew from their halo of golden stamen, making this a great option for bringing pops of elegant brightness to settings with a lot of darkness. Helleborus niger, more often known as black hellebore, is a plant that can be stunted in its development if the soil is too dry or too wet. However, they can thrive on either chalk, clay, or loam soil. Zones three to eight can grow these. Number nine, common astilboids. The gigantic peltate leaves of the astilboids tabularis can reach a width of three feet making it a true architectural showstopper. Each frond, fashioned like a lily pad, emerges from its stem and features cute, wavy edges that look great against the etched veins. In late spring, when the crests of cream plumes are at their fullest, the effect is particularly striking. Common astilboids is a plant that, contrary to popular belief, actually thrives in low-light environments like bogs, stream banks, and humus-rich woods. Astilboids may survive in zones 5 to 7 with little trouble. Number 10. Dutchman's Breeches White blossoms that resemble little, upside-down pairs of puffy legs nod from leafless stems of this odd, short-lived annual. Curled yellow petals emerge from the base, giving the plant an air of delicate femininity against the ruffled foliage. Shaded silva and cottage gardens benefit greatly from the addition of Dutchman's breeches, a beautiful but fleeting flower. The hardiness range for Dutchman's breeches is from zone six to 10. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.